president who brought in a Muslim ban, closed the door to Syrian refugees, caged migrant kids at the border, praised neo-Nazis in Charlottesville as very fine people, referred to one black woman as a dog and another as low IQ, referred to African countries as S-hole countries, suggested everyone in Haiti has AIDS, defended an aide accused of domestic assault, defended a Supreme Court nominee accused of sexual assault, was accused of rape himself, went through four White House chiefs of staff, four White House press secretaries, and four White House national security advisors in just four years, fired his FBI chief, tried to fire the special counsel, got impeached, moved the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem in defiance of international law, went sword dancing with the Saudi royals and then helped them cover up the murder of a journalist, said he fell in love with Kim Jong-un and praised North Korea, never said a word about Vladimir Putin, incited violence against the fake news media, and called the press enemies of the people, told four non-white members of Congress to go back to where they came from, accused American Jews of being ignorant and disloyal, told the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by, praised QAnon, proudly called himself a nationalist, smeared immigrants as invaders, encouraged voter suppression, tore up the Iran deal, tore up the Paris Climate Accord, tore up a nuclear arms control treaty, tried to tear up Obamacare, loosened the regulations on drone strikes, loosened the restrictions on ICE, got laughed at by world leaders at the UN, pardoned war criminals, compared himself to Lincoln, compared himself to Jesus, called himself the King of Israel, said he was the chosen one, mocked the existence of climate change, shut down the government for no good reason, declared a national emergency for no good reason, repeatedly violated the emoluments clause, hid a secret bank account in China, paid only $750 in federal income tax, but he refused to release his tax returns, gave trillions of dollars in tax cuts to the rich, gave us the worst unemployment number since the Great Depression, turned a blind eye to 3,000 dead in Puerto Rico, presided over nearly a quarter of a million dead Americans from the coronavirus, tested positive for the coronavirus himself, but carried on mocking the wearing of masks, asked if we could be injected with disinfected, suggested Obama murdered SEAL Team 6, claimed the governor of Virginia, executed a baby, regaled the Boy Scouts with tales of orgies, asked his Department of Justice to lock up his opponents, played golf more than 250 times, and according to the fact checkers, told more than 22,000 lies since coming to office. Now look, I could go on and on, but I'm out of time. And in fact, we're all out of time. If you haven't voted yet, please vote. That's all I have left to say.